What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City daily transfer video. Today we're going to be doing a Manchester City transfer update. Today does mark the final daily Manchester City transfer video for you guys to enjoy throughout the summer 2023 transfer window. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you everybody for tuning in, being much appreciated. The support that's been shown to the channel has been nothing short uh, of sensational. So thank Thank you so much for all your guys support over the summer but if you are enjoying the content please do subscribe we're on that push now to 32,000 subscribers less than 250 subs away so any help towards that will be much appreciated my social media links there in the description including my twitter instagram and tiktok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries do let me know your thoughts what you make of these transfers in the comments below and finally please do leave a thumbs up 200 likes is the aim so we're going to crack on with this video we're going to start off with the outs and we've got the very latest on Bernardo Silva now CBS which uh, have got a journalist based in France has said that PSG were willing to offer for Bernardo Silva this summer Marco Verratti and Gianluigi Donnarumma in exchange to try and sign Bernardo Silva from Manchester City. Manchester City did say no. Apparently Man City had told PSG that uh, they were interested only in a lot of cash and if any player was going to be used uh, in a part exchange deal, Man City were only interested in Warren Zaire Emery from PSG, weren't interested in Verratti, weren't interested in Donnarumma either. Just Zaire Emery from PSG was the player City uh, were interested in. I know very little about the youngster from Paris Saint-Germain. Um, but yeah, didn't materialise. Bernardo Silva signed a new deal. And that is that. Until next summer when I'm sure all the rumours will come flooding back once more and with the potential of there uh, maybe being a release clause in his contract uh, that could be uh, yeah, very interesting next summer. Now moving on to the ins, we've got a new name and it comes in the form of Ian Matson over at Chelsea. Interest in this. Now the Evening Standard say that Manchester City are having a good look at Martson at Chelsea. He's a left back, 21 years old, turns 22 in March. He spent last season on loan at Burnley under Vincent Company. Did very well with them after spending a couple of seasons out on loan in the EFL. Uh, he's now had a few minutes at Chelsea. He's been getting some regular playing time there uh, so far this season. And the word that I'm hearing from the Evening Standard is Chelsea are confident and they are expected to get Matson on a new contract and if that is the case that will end Manchester City's interest however the Evening Standard say that if he doesn't sign a new deal uh, and his contract being up next summer Man City are interested and should Jao Cancelo seal a permanent move away from Manchester City they say that Manchester City may look towards permanent options when it comes to fullbacks in particular on that left side because Man City we have players that can play there that can do a very good job there but we don't have a natural out and out fullback uh, on that left hand side so Martin could be the player that ticks that box but if Man City don't want to go back to the traditional back four then it does mean Martin would have to adapt himself a little bit more and the fact that he can play out wide and on the wing as well would benefit Man City of course with him being versatile however it's very much the same role as what Sergio Gomez has right now at Manchester City so whilst uh, the evening standard have called into question the future of João Cancelo to me he has no future if you think about Cancelo just think about him not being a Manchester City player which means if you want to bring Martin in and he's going to replace Cancelo Cancelo's just not in the squad so he doesn't need replacing however if you bring Martin in it's going to limit the playing time of that of Sergio Gomez so I wonder if Man City potentially getting linked with Martin here may have something in mind when it comes to Sergio Gomez we'll have to wait and see as I said a lot relies here on him signing a new deal which at this very moment in time Martin is expected to do so whilst he gets regular playing time at Chelsea I'm expecting him to sign that new contract but if he doesn't Man City, I presume, are going to be one of the lot of clubs that will be interested. And as I've said before, when it comes to transfers, if there's any player out there that's good enough, Man City are interested. However, there's a big difference between Man City being interested and Man City moving that to the next stage and actually trying to make a move 
for a player and I have a feeling over the next uh, two, three, four months Man City will be putting a lot of feelers out there before they decide on which players they may want to move interest from going forward into potentially making a move. Now moving on to the final transfer of this video takes us on to an update on Evan Ferguson. I was reporting in the last video of Man City's interest on the back of Evan Ferguson scoring a hat-trick for Brighton and Hove Albion and believed to be one of the brightest upcoming prospects uh, in the Premier League when it comes to attackers and of course with him uh, being Irish as well uh, there's generated there's a lot of there's a lot of interest and there's uh, a lot of people that are speaking about this transfer and I've been paying attention reading between the lines he's highly rated at Brighton I know there's a lot of Ireland fans that highly rate Evan Ferguson as well there's been a few that have been commenting on my video uh, and have been tweeting me uh, speaking about Evan Ferguson and what he can offer and how good he can be and what his potential is and he looks like potentially he could be the real deal but as I was saying in my last video while City have got Julian Alvarez one of the best attackers in the world uh, and World Cup winner with Argentina Tina won everything with Manchester City as well uh, and whilst we've got Erling Haaland as well I just don't see how Man City make Evan Ferguson work in this squad and Evan Ferguson uh, in terms of his development give him another couple of seasons he will be far too good to be playing a rotated option for Manchester City but that doesn't mean in a couple of seasons we may still have Julian Alvarez or Erling Haaland nothing's guaranteed when it comes to football and as I was saying before with Ian Martin when it comes to interest Man City will be interested in a lot of players if players are playing well and they're hitting form and they're showing glimpses of being world class Man City will be interested but Mike Monet has said that Manchester City when it comes to attackers not currently interested in adding any to their squad anytime soon uh, that is on the back of Evan Ferguson being linked with a move to Manchester City earlier this week from Brighton and Hove Albion uh, and as I've said with this transfer it's one I'll keep an eye on it's one that could be ever changing uh, there's interest galore in Evan Ferguson I'm not not too sure if it'll be Man City where he ends up at but we'll have to wait and see uh, and as I've said with all the transfers it is very much at this stage over the next few months going to be an interest stage before Man City choose to try and pursue maybe heading into the winter window may even be prolonged even further than that heading into the summer Remember, when we signed Erling Haaland, the rumours for that were coming out in October and November before we ended up signing him in June. Jude Bellingham, for a good eight, nine months, we were getting linked heavily with him. So I'm wondering, as we head in towards that stage, who's going to be that next player that Manchester City seriously want to try and sign in that next 12 months? Of course, I will keep you guys up to date, so if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Please do leave your thoughts on what you make of these transfers in the comments below. Do leave a thumbs up as well. 200 likes is the aim. And finally, I want to say a big thank you to everybody for tuning in this summer with the daily Manchester City transfer content. Over 100 videos this summer speaking all things Manchester City and keeping you up to date every single step of the way here on YouTube. Sometimes two, three, I think mean, there was a couple of days where I did four videos whilst working full time as well. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do, but it is very enjoyable and I love doing it and I can confirm to you guys in the winter transfer window we will be back with daily Manchester City transfer content of course for you guys to look forward to and it will be back next summer for you guys to enjoy as well we will have plenty of other City content for you guys to look forward to including match previews match reviews match reactions live watch alongs match vlogs all that good stuff for you guys to enjoy and of course we'll have some transfer updates out uh, dotted between now and then as well I normally tend to do them every week or two for you guys to look forward to so I will see you then uh, I'm going to go and take a well earned few days off now before we head in past the international break for another big push uh, through September and October so thank you everybody for watching much appreciated I've been JSGC I hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now